Hey everybody, Kevin here with another Note Investor Tip of the Day. This one's on closings. I have uh, several clients going through their first note transaction this week, and uh, the closing is quite different than a real estate transaction. First of all, there's nothing for the buyer to sign, only the seller signs the documentation, so that's kind of an interesting angle. But there are things for the buyer to do. Uh, you need to line up a servicing company, make sure you provide all the documentation that they might need in which to do that. If you're working with an IRA or 401k, self-directed, uh, of course, uh, make sure you talk with your custodian and make sure that they have all of the information that they need for that transaction. On the seller side, you are going to sign the documents, of course. You can do that electronically today. And you also have to gather all of your documents. So there is quite a list that there's going to, that they're going to have for you. So make sure who's ever handling the closing gives you a checklist of all the documentation that you need uh, for the seller side. And then the wire instructions uh, come to the buyer. They send uh, in the wire. The seller sends all the documentation either electronically or through FedEx. And the transaction is, is made. So it's actually quite simple. It's easier than a real estate transaction. But make sure you get a checklist from who's ever handling the closing. That's your Note Investor Tip of the Day.